Russian car insurance will no longer be valid on European roads. Here's a summary of the article. Russian cars have become a rare sight across the EU. But in a few places, like the Norwegian border town of Kirkins, vehicles from the warring country are still seen on local roads. Despite the freezing relations between Russia and the surrounding world, there is still a significant number of Russian travelers making it across the border to Norway. Norway is today the only of Russia's neighboring countries that still allows the entry of Russian tourist travelers. If a Russian car driver is faulty of an accident in Europe, the green card protects the rights of the suffering European part. The termination of the agreement will in practice close European roads for Russian cars. Theoretically, car insurance for Russian travelers could be offered on the border at entry. The small Norwegian town is located only a few minutes' drive from the border and has long been a popular destination for Russians living in the Kola Peninsula. This post received a score of 11,000, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. From July 1, 2023, unless the current agreement is renewed, which the article author thinks is unlikely. It also means that European car insurances will be invalid in Russia. This matters almost nowhere, but there is apparently still some cross-border travel in northern Norway. Greater than car insurances will be invalid in Russia. We received our car's insurances for 2023 a couple of weeks ago, France. Since January 1, 2023, they're not valid in Russia nor Belarus. Before, only Iran, Azerbaijan, Kosovo and Northern Cyprus weren't covered. Road trip across North Korea is on. If you can't drive across Russia or Iran due to insurance how are you going to get to NK from France? Airdrop. Step 1. Send your car to China. Step 2. Fly to China. Step 3. Get apprehended by the Chinese government. Step 4. Explain you're delivering supplies and a care package to North Korea so China doesn't have to. Step 5. Drive to North Korea. Step 6. Find Kim and make him suck an enormous black dick. Step 7. Share the photos online. Step 8. Profit. With sightseeing to boot not recommended if you have COVID. Other terms and conditions may apply. Winnie the Pooh is in China though. It is early and I have corrected my mistake. Thank you. They still get breakdown assistance and free towing in Ukraine. Costs a bomb though. Possibly an arm and a leg. To shreds you say? This will hurt Russia even more. Especially commercial operations. Europe doesn't need Russian products but Russians need Europeans. Smart move. It's such a tiny move. And it will have so many implications. Some good bureaucratic work right there. This is actually huge. All Russian logistic companies will now need to buy second insurance, aka huge cost. Then is question. How will they pay? You cannot drive, pass border checks without valid insurance. Good move. The faster this invasion of Ukraine ends the better. Enough lives were lost due to one old man delusion. I definitely get cash up front. It's important not to forget the word thief in thieving barbarian, which is now their national identity. They literally stole all commercial aircraft from global leasing companies and stole and used as their own, globally recognized corporate branding. As a person from Eastern EU, it's so weird seeing the ties break up so suddenly, as if the Cold War was returning. We spent the last 20 years in this weird illusion that Russia is now a normal country and that we can coexist. Even the occupation of Crimea didn't change this belief that much and now suddenly it's two separate worlds emerging. I'm glad Russia is getting what it deserves, hope it leads to a better future for the world. And Belarus please come to Europe. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.